Okay, so two math words that a lot of people confuse is the median and the mean. Now, if you understand the definition of these two words, I think solving this problem will not be that difficult. All right, so let's take a look at the problem. It says the following. The median of x, 4x, 8x, and 9x is 24. What is the mean of this given data set? And we want to assume that x is a positive integer. All right, so we have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 12, B is 8, C is 6, and D is 22. Now feel free to use a calculator, but if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then of course I'm gonna define median and mean, and uh, we'll walk through step-by-step -step how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, now I'm not going to tell you what the median and mean uh, are just yet, but we will read the problem one more time. It says the median of x, 4x, 8x, and 9x is 24. What is the mean? And again, we're going to assume that x is a positive integer. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is D, which is 22. Now, if you got that right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence because you appear to be a certified professional expert in basic statistics. So congratulations. You obviously know what the word median and mean stand for. All right, now, if you didn't get this right, it's probably because uh, you don't understand uh, the definition or maybe you're a little bit confused on the definitions of these words or maybe some of the algebra that we need to use to solve this problem. But uh, trust me, this is not going to be that difficult. All right, but let's suppose you run into this problem on a test for those of you that still have to take math tests and quizzes. What should you do if you don't know how to solve this problem? You might be saying, hey, Mr. G2 Math Man, uh, I'm totally clueless here. What should I do? Well, anytime you have a multiple choice question, question in <laughs> on a test, never leave it blank. So just guess, right? So you're, I don't know, you might say, oh, it looks pretty good. Well, that is a great guess. Unfortunately, it's wrong, but at least you, you know, attempted to, uh, you know, answer the question. So never leave a question blank on a math exam unless you're going to get penalized uh, for a wrong answer, which could be the case on some test like the SAT or ACT. So in this uh, particular problem, the only way really to kind of answer the question is to be very clear on what the median and mean uh, are, okay, the definitions of these words. And we're talking again about basic statistics. So let's just kind of do a super simple example of these two words. And uh, I'm just gonna write a data set. How about like one, two, three? So this is a, a set of data. Now statistics, one of the things that we study in basic statistics or one uh, kind of big concept is something called the measures of central tendency, the measures of central tendency. So given uh, these numbers right here, okay, so one, two, and three, what do you think would be, uh, you know, what's the tendency, what's the central tendency of this data? Okay, now don't overthink this because I'm using some fancy words, uh, but you might think in terms of, hey, what's the average, okay, of this uh, uh, data set? Now, um, again, I'm using this word or this term data set. Basically, this is just a collection of information or numbers, data, right? So if you're saying, hey, Mr. U2 Math Man, uh, maybe we should just take the average of these numbers. Well, that's uh, uh, actually the perfect thing to do. So the average of these, uh, th sorry, average of these three numbers, and I think I said two numbers, but anyways, average of these three numbers is what? Well, we have to find the average, so that means we have to add up these numbers and divide by the actual numbers that we have. So that would be what? One plus two plus three, and of course that's six, and how many numbers do we have? One, two, three. So we'll take six divided by three, so six divided by three is two. So two 
is the average of this data set. Now, uh, this is a pretty good representation of this, um, these three numbers, right? Well, one is less than two, three is greater than two, but two is like perfectly in the middle. So this is a good representation of the central tendency of this data. Okay, so again, we're talking about basic statistics. Now, what I just did was find the average. Now, there's another fancy word for the average, and that word is the mean. Okay, so anytime you see the mean, that means the average. Okay, so let's talk about this word here, and that is the median. Now, a lot of people uh, forget or they confuse that uh, the median, or they think of the median as the mean. Okay, the median is not the mean. The mean is the average. Okay, so what is the median? Well, the median is the middle number. So take a look at this word right here. It looks like, uh, you know, kind of like medium, right? Or middle, excuse me. So M-E-D, so maybe that's a good way to kind of uh, think about this. Middle number, median. So uh, we can find the middle number of a data set, but the first thing we need to do is to order the numbers from highest to lowest value. So here, we have uh, one, two, three. So these numbers are increasing. If we had uh, like one, three, two, we would have to reorder the numbers such that they're uh, from highest to lowest. And then once we have the uh, data set uh, ordered from highest to lowest, then what we can do is just determine the middle number. Okay, so what's the middle number here? Well, the middle number is two. So there's one number here to the left of two, one number to the right of two. So two is the middle number. So that is another measure of uh, central tendency for this uh, data set, which of course is the same as the average, okay? So that is the median. But uh, what happens in this particular case, we have three numbers, okay? But what happens if we have four numbers? So something like one, two, three, four. Let's suppose this is our data set. So what's the median of this data set? So you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, now I'm a little bit, uh, you know, I was thinking I was getting it, but now I'm lost because there is no middle number here, right? So is the middle number two? Well, not really because there's two numbers over here and one over here, okay? So that two is not the middle number. So that's not gonna be the median. And of course, these numbers are um, ordered from highest to lowest. How about three? Well, there's one number here and two numbers here. So three is not the middle number as well. So how can we determine the middle value or the median? Well, this is how you do it. So when you have an odd set of numbers and you're trying to determine the uh, median, it's going to be that middle value. Okay, so uh, that's pretty clear on this simple example. But when you have an even set of numbers, what you have to do is find the average between the two middle numbers or two numbers closest to the middle. So in this case, it would be uh, two and three. And what we want to do is simply find the average of two and three. So that would be what two plus three, which would be five divided by two or 2.5. So 2.5 would be the median. Okay, so again, uh, the median, uh, the um, mean are measures of central tendency tendencies, excuse me, and there's other ones as well that you'll learn in basic statistics. Let me just kind of write a few down here. Uh, one is called the mode, and the mode is the number that shows up the most. Sometimes there is no mode, like in this case, but if I have one, two, three, and then a three, the mode would be uh, three because it's the number that shows up the most in our data set. Then we can have the range, which is uh, basically the span of the numbers in our data set, and you can have other fancy things as well like standard deviation, et cetera, et cetera. But we're gonna go ahead and focus in on this problem now, uh, now that we understand what the mean and median is. So we have to now deal with the algebra. All right, so the median, okay, the median of x, 4x, 8x, and 9x is 24. So this word is, in mathematics, is the equal sign. So we need to figure out what x is equal to and again, we're stipulating that x is a positive integer. And uh, that's important because if x is a negative value, it could kind of confuse the answer here. So we're just going to kind of make this nice and simple. So x, 4x, 8x, and 9x is 24. All right, so we're talking about the median, right? So how do we determine the median? Well, we need to order these numbers from highest to lowest. Now, if x is a positive integer, the highest uh, lowest value 
is going to be what? Well, x is going to be the lowest value. 4x will be the next greatest value. 8x is the next uh, greatest value. Then 9x is the greatest value. So let's go ahead and order these numbers from highest to lowest. And what we would have is x, 4x, 8x, and 9x. And we're looking for the median. But we, again, we have four uh, pieces of data in our data set. So what is the median? Well, the median is going to be the average of the two middle numbers, Okay, which are 4x and 8x. All right, so let's go back over here to the problem. It says the median of this data set is 24. So whatever the median is, it's equal to 24. So let's go ahead and calculate the median. And we need to take 4x and 8x and find the average. Okay, So the average of 4x and 8x is the median. But we do know that the median is 24. So how do we find the average of any two numbers? Well, we simply add them together and divide by 2. So the average of 4x and 8x is what? Well, 4x plus 8x divided by 2, and that is 24. All right, so at this point, all we need to do is solve this basic algebraic equation. And uh, what we have to do next is add uh, these uh, like terms in the numerator. So we have 4x and 8x. 4x and 8x is what? 12x. So 12x divided by 2 is equal to 24. Well, 12x divided by 2 is what? Well, 12x divided by 2 is 6x, right? So uh, 12 divided by 2 is 6, 6x. So we have 6x is equal to 24. So to solve 4x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 6. So x is equal to 4. All right, so at this point, we are very happy. And um, a lot of students, you know, if you're not paying attention to what the question is asking, you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I am an awesome math student. And I'm sure you are. But remember, we need to answer the question. So what's the question here? What is the mean? Okay, so given that the median of x 4, uh, 4x, 8x, and 9x is 24, what is the mean of this data set? In other words, what is the average of these numbers? Well, now we need to go back and use uh, this value for x to figure out the second part of this uh, question or the actual question. So we're looking for the mean or average. Okay, so here is our, our data set again, x, 4x, 8x, and 9x. And we know now that x is equal to 4. So what do you think we can do here? Well, if you're saying, hey, Mr. Do 2 Math Man, should we uh, go ahead and plug in 4 for x, okay, like this, get the actual numbers here, and then calculate the average? Well, indeed, that is the correct next move. So let's go ahead and take the next step, which, of course, is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely need your help to continue to grow my channel. I've been on YouTube for like well over a decade. I posted over 3,000 plus videos, excuse me, plus videos. You can see my voice is, um, you know, uh, reflects all the videos that I posted. But, um, you know, whether, you know, I'm posting one video a day or two or three, I try to remain consistent and I try to focus on uh, basically from basic math to advanced math up to, let's say, uh, calculus and everything in between. But uh, my goal is to really make math clear and understandable and interesting, okay? And really to try to make my math videos uh, not uh, kind of feel like a formal lecture on mathematics because that can get kind of boring. And for a lot of you students out there, you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't want to listen to another lecture. I got to do that all day. Well, I totally get it. So this is kind of an informal way to learn math. But if you want to really learn mathematics from me, check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. So uh, whether you need to study basic math like, um, you know, arithmetic, check out my math foundations course, or maybe you're getting ready for calculus, check out my pre-calculus course, or maybe you want to relearn mathematics, well, then check out my math skills rebuilder course. I'll start, uh, start you out in basic math, you know, we'll pretty much go all the way through algebra, geometry, and even some basic trigonometry and probability and statistics. And for those of you that uh, like math notes or, you know, like to have something that you can print out and study, uh, there'll be links to my math notes in the description as well. But uh, the best way to support my work is to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So now let's get back and finish up this problem. Okay, so we know that x is equal to 4, and here is our data set. So we have x, 4x, 8x, and 9x, and I've indicated that x is a positive integer, integer excuse me, so we already know that. Uh, we have x is equal to 4, 4 is a positive integer, so we can... 
what are these numbers uh, from lowest to highest value? Now, that was important when we were figuring out the median, but it's really not critical when we're uh, calculating the average, but we'll just uh, go ahead and order them uh, this way anyways. So x is what? Well, x is 4, right? Because we know uh, that's what we saw for. So 4x is what? Well, that's going to be 4 times 4 or 16. So our first number is 4. Our second number is 4 times 4 or 16. Our next number is what? Well, it's going to be 8 times 4 or 32. And our last number is 9 times 4 or uh, 36. So now all we need to do is calculate the average of these numbers or the mean. And uh, we're just talking about basic arithmetic. And uh, use your calculator uh, so you don't make any uh, mistakes. But we have 4 plus 16, right, plus 32, plus 36. And how many numbers do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we'll divide all this by 4. So we're going to get, what, 88. And let me scroll down here so we can see the rest of the problem. 88 divided by 4, which, of course, is 22. And that is the mean or average. All right, so I know that in math, uh, you know, these definitions, you know, uh, especially in basic statistics, you have three words that start with M, okay? So you got median, uh, you got the uh, mode, and you have the mean, okay? And this can confuse a lot of students. So the only way to really not be confused is to truly understand the definition and practice solving problems. I don't think the math is too difficult. Again, I think what... Uh, uh, gives a lot of people a tough time is they're unsure on uh, what these terms mean. They're like, oh, the meaning. Is that the average? Is that the mean? Well, again, you know, uh, as you practice, you know, mathematics, that's the only way you're going to kind of get this into your long-term memory. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.